What mom and or dad has never had a problem disciplining a child? You want your child to behave so you don't have to discipline them. When this mom confiscated her teen son's cell phone, she had no idea the series of events that she touched off. Her body was found beaten to death in the backyard tool shed. Her son, apparently laying in wait until she came home from the night shift at the airport, and then slaughtered her in the kitchen using the kitchen frying pan and a hammer, even thinking to get another teen friend to pose as lookout in the front yard. We are taking your calls out to Lynn Ann in Arkansas. Hi, Lynn Ann, what's your question? Hi, Nancy, thank you for taking my call. It's more of a comment, really. Okay. This, this he needs to be tried as an adult. It was clearly premeditated. He had a helper. I mean, I don't know what planet some attorneys live on when they think that this should be just probation. I'm boggled. You know, I agree, and I've got Claypool and Martin here acting like this is some kid that's straight out of the, the, the quilting bee, all right? He's not. He got an accomplice. He hid the body. Just think about this, Areva Martin, as the two of you want to handle him with kid gloves. He got his friend to pull his mom's dead body through the backyard to hide her in the tool shed. And as both of you know from trying so many cases, that the judge will instruct a jury, if it gets that far, that they are allowed under the law to take into mind the circumstances before, during, and after the crime, including hiding his mom's body in the tool shed, cleaning up the kitchen, and waiting on daddy. What about that, Areva Martin? First of all, Nancy, no one is no one is exonerating this young man from this horrific act. Obviously, killing your mom is, is just the most unthinkable thing that anyone can do. Yeah. But we have to look at the totality of the circumstances. It looks like this boy panicked, you know, hiding panicked. the body after the fact that his mom died. I, I don't think there's enough evidence at this he point laid to say he laid in wait. It looks like that a crime is of the passion. Evidence. It looks like they were arguing. He takes a fine pad. Who would plan to kill their mom with the okay. skillet, Nancy? Let's I get just the don't facts. think there's evidence Let's of get premeditation the facts. there. Paul Pinzone, former sergeant with Phoenix PD, child advocate. Paul, isn't it true that he did lay in wait, waiting for mom to walk through that kitchen door? She hadn't even made it into the den yet. The back door opened right into the kitchen. She got in like three or four steps and wham, right in the head with a skillet. And not only that, he had an accomplice. That means he planned this ahead of time. I agree with Lynn Ann in Arkansas. What, what are these two defense attorneys tripping on? critical elements which is before during and after it's obvious that he was already planning this if he was making statements to the neighbors relative to him owning that home and his parents no longer being a part of it then what conversation took place i mean I'm, i would just be very surprised if he made a phone call to his friend and said hey by the way i killed my mom would you come over and help me hide the body he probably shared with him in advance his anger his frustration and maybe even his plan to hurt his mother or kill his mother and his stepfather